Today's Wednesday, February 27th. You're looking at a 30-minute bar chart of the forward E-mini S&P 500 futures contract. We've been talking uh, for about a year now in seminars, uh, presentations, videos, blog posts, how the ebb and flow of the market is gone. And the, I think the natural ebb and flow of the market is gone is because people, when people traded the markets, people have emotions. And they went, ah! And they got excited, or they went, ah! And they got fearful. And that made the market jerk around. Today, we're greater than 70% of all traffic, all transactions are managed by automated trading bots. What we see is the bots don't have emotions. They just trade. And that's why the ebb and flow is gone. And let's look what happened. Uh, this is Monday. The market went pretty much down in a straight line. You can see that, yeah, gosh, Jilly Wee's, here's a little bit of a retracement. That's kind of about it. You can say, gosh, Jilly Wee, here's a little bit of a consolidation area, but that's it. Yesterday we had this V-shaped recovery. Still really no ebb and flow, just kind of down and kind of up. And today is probably just one of the great magnificent arguments that the bots have controlled the market. Human beings don't trade this way. Bots trade this way. Where are the retracements? This puppy went straight up. Then it went to lunch. I guess bots do take lunch. <laughs> and then it went straight up. <clears throat> and I've heard from a lot of traders today. A lot of traders were waiting to buy the pullback. Let's buy the pullback. Let's buy the pullback. The thing is, in 2013, where the bots are dominating the market, there are not going to be these pullbacks that some of the more seasoned traders are used to finding. So let's go show you how to trade these markets. You know, if the market's going in a straight line, how do I take advantage of that? The thinking has evolved from, gosh, these bots are ruining the game, they messed up my day trading, to, gosh, the bots have made it uh, easy for me. The market's going in a straight line. I know where I'm getting in, and it's going to go straight to my target. So let me show you how we do that with Skeeto Data. This is a four tick range bar chart of today's action. So let's just go through it play by play. You see here the pre-market and um, the open, through the open, we had red wins, so we're indicating a, a downward trend. We did have a lot of selling. There was no follow through to the sell side. We have these bullish tick ratios right here, uh, 918 and 930 at the open. And now we have our higher high in MacDaddy and the wind goes green. So let me just show you the basics if you're familiar with Skeeto Data. If you're not familiar with Skeeto Data, I urge you just to look at some of the uh, tutorials that we have up on our site and you'll see what's going on here. So we have uh, retail ducking below. Strong green wind, that's a good place to buy. We have retail ducking below. Strong place to buy. Actually, it looks like retail ducked below a little bit earlier on. Great place to buy. We have retail ducking below institutional. Yay! Great place to buy. We have retail ducking below institutional. Wind is pulling back. Still a great place to buy. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Retail is ducking below institutional. I know a lot of people were afraid to buy the tens, but every indication of either buying or selling the tens was pretty much to the buy side. Everything is green, green, green. Uh, wind is indeterminate, but retail is ducking down. You have uh, bot buying and then the surge up. And let's see, does retail duck down again? Hard to tell. This is already late in the day. Oh, let's move over. There we go. Yep really good and let's show you some more stuff let's just go through the higher highs in mac daddy so we can start training your eye because these are very easy to start being like a 21st century tape reader and let me make this a little bit bigger and go back here to the arrow line and higher high but it's still red but it's green let's wait for the green and the lower high higher high and I hope you know what I'm, I'm looking at. There's some video tutorials on higher highs and higher lows. There's a higher high, safe to buy. <coughs> higher high in MacDaddy, safe to buy. MacDaddy higher high, safe to buy. There's a pullback, some heat, but there's definitely a scalp in there. And a higher high in MacDaddy, safe to buy. MacDaddy higher high, safe to buy. MacDaddy higher high, 
safe to buy, particularly when it's coupled with uh, retail below institutional. So I hope this helps. Again, <clears throat> if you're a trader that's accustomed to waiting for the pullback, we advise you to look at some more uh, bot-centric data, some tape data, some order flow data to say, hey, there may not be a pullback. I need to jump on this trend. And these are the kind of tools I think that would really help you jump in quickly and have very quick trades approaching your target.